morning time and it's time to muck out i'm not really a morning person at all tend it on yard between 7 and 7 30 to start getting the boys done it's a nice four lot there bills i would one day like some new stables these stables are really old i think they're 20 plus years and this these marks are not from these horses it's previous horses but they do look super messy there's Art. Always start with Artie first because Artie will make the biggest fuss like he's doing now. So he has always got to be done first. But he's the cleanest. Mm, probably then Billy. Corporal, who you can't really see, he's hiding. Um, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So yeah, let's get going and then I can get on and go to work. On the rare occurrence that I do have a little extra time in the morning, then I'll just get on and do a few jobs. Putting washing on, this is a 12 kilogram drum, and I think I bought it a few years ago now, but it was a good purchase because I can get stable rugs in it as well, which is brilliant. done and just eating their breakfast yard fairly clean i'm not somebody that gets too stressed about how tidy it is when i leave for work because i just need to get as long as they're clean fed watered and it's sort of tidy then i'm happy with that I, the afternoon is for when it needs a proper tidy up and that kind of thing so um yeah but now it's off we go time to get cracking with the day i normally try and leave home by half past eight but i'm not going very far this morning so a little bit more leisurely to the first horse of the day going out for a nice hack i ride a real variety of horses and ponies some days are hacking days some days are schooling other days i'm teaching when we're not in lockdown it just varies from day to day most mornings i ride between two three very occasionally four horses that aren't on my yard um, and then like i said once i get home i then go and get my lot done and my livery ride of the day this lovely little welsh section d who is just the cutest thing a very jolly chap i ride as i said a real variety of horses and ponies some of them are eventers show jumpers dressage horses hunters pony club ponies a good old variety back home from work i didn't record every horse i rode because there's only so many pairs of ears you want to see out hacking or schooling and angus waiting for me on the doorstep now it's time to grab some lunch because i am starving um, and probably feed a certain horse that will no doubt bob his head over there you go um yeah go and get some lunch and then get cracking with my lot
with Yurina very kindly rate for me. It was time to get cracking with the schooling. Corporal was up first, then Artie, and then I gave Billy a lunge. So a busy old afternoon. I'm sort of trying to ramp up Corporal schooling a little bit now because his first show back is middle of April, so not that far off. And then we've got regionals after that. So starting to think, you know, fine tuning things. So running through bits that will be in the regional test, that kind of thing. that I always school in a jump saddle. This is because it fits Corporal so well and he much prefers it to a dressage saddle. So if he's happy, I'm happy. Off to go and finish the electric fencing because this weather is dreamy. So I'm thinking the horses are probably gonna be able to go out by Friday, which is so exciting. It's been a long time. Um, so we've got all the troughs and the buckets and the electric fence to go down, but I'm feeling a touch lazy. I'm absolutely knackered today. So I'm going to try and start up the lawnmower and head on down, probably with Eve beside me. far more productive when there's sun out so fence nearly up it actually looked like it was going to be a really big knot and actually came out very well so just got to put the stakes in and then this will be my boys paddock and then the next paddock up will be for my livery and I just wanted to swing around to this fence so obviously the fencing at the top of the field is electrified from the top but we need a bottom fencer down here because certain old horse will jump out of everywhere and anywhere over anything over any height he has no limitations so this works so well it's solar panels as you can see and it was expensive but it's been well worth its money it's never not worked and also they seem really I think because the box is really obvious they seem quite afraid of the box and the, it flashes and whatever else and I just find they they generally respect this quite well so I've had it a couple of years now and it's top notch, it does a great job. Anyway, let's get these stakes out and then I can uh, go up. Now it's time to muck out everyone again and get them ready for bed. Arty is definitely in the mood for his dinner. Time for evening stables, about half past eight, nine o'clock. There is Bill, who's making no effort to get up whatsoever, are you, Billy? I'll bring the hay to you. <laughs> and Art, who is ready for more food, as always. Art is never one to miss out on an opportunity for more grub, are you, Art? Very well timed. And then Coop, who's not one for putting his head over the door ever. He has a window at the back of the stable and spends the majority of his time looking out there, so the stable door but anyway all right better go and get some more food for a certain person impatient <laughs> 